right, today's video, we are discussing how I actually let everyone down. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Uh, and looking at this video, it only has 799 views. And this was posted back in May of 2020. However, this exact video and the techniques that are being taught in this video, my friend John literally is doing 90,000 a month. In fact, when I got ready to make the video a few weeks ago, uh, he was doing 60,000 a month. And last week he did $90,000 per month from the contents of this video. So I decided I want to play this video back so I know of in the past people can understand exactly what it was. Right? And we scroll through the list and we look at basically some really some big contracts and all the time. So now what you're looking at is a list from Miami-Dade County. This is a list of what's called pool contracts. So if you want to compare it to the federal government's IDIQs or GSA, like their GWACs or BMOs, things of that nature, there's those multi-year contract vehicles that you qualify to get on. That's what you're looking at here on the screen by Miami-Dade County. And your local city municipality also is likely to have pool contracts. So what we were looking at are what's called pool contracts, and they list everything from debris removal to pest control. Uh, if you look at here, liquid levels, uh, pre-qualification elevators, gasoline, diesel, golf carts, everything, and it tells you who is on the contract. And you can look on there and see if there's five vendors or ten vendors or four vendors. This is a way to find out when people ask me, Eric, where should I start? I don't know. I don't have a business. I, I can sell anything. This is probably your best bet, right, is to go to your local city, municipality, find their pool contracts and figure out if, in fact, you can qualify to get on one of those pool contracts. And then you go build a relationship with the vendor, okay, because you have to get credit from a vendor, a supplier that provides those particular items, Right. So that's the hard part is building that relationship with the vendor, the supplier, so that you can become eligible to have 30 days supplier credit, vendor credit, and be able to get favorable pricing enough to start winning these types of low hanging fruit contracts. Take a look. It never fails. Right. The biggest some of the biggest contracts and you can look at them. I mean, if we just look down the list here right, of like the sizes, the volume. Um, when we were going through, I explained him about the hurricane one. So we pulled it up, and I showed him. I said, look, okay, here's. So now we're going to get into the hurricane contract because I always use the hurricane one as an example because it's big. It's like massive, and it's like, whoa, $90 million and six people on it. So I always like to use that one as my example to go to. But there's some smaller contracts that there's like teeny weeny contracts. Like there's contracts for like – pens and there's contracts for highlighters and there's contracts for paper clips and pencils and, and things that other people may feel comfortable getting started to build up some past performance selling. But I always like to use the hurricane contracts. Hauling and disposal of emergency debris. This contract was issued this in January 1st of 2019, last year, and it runs through December 31st of 2023. The value is $90 million. Okay, now... Does anybody out there want to take a guess of how many people do they think are on this particular pool? Anybody out there? Stop. Take a guess. 20, 30, 50, 100? Not 100. One. I think I kind of gave an answer to the beginning. You, any guesses? I'll wait. By the way, okay. this still Let's is happening look, right now today. Right, how many people are actually on this? I know people that are going to bid. No one is showing up. No great. one Just is bidding. Year. One now person is bidding you. these projects. One person bids. Here, two people are bidding. 50-50 odds. People Three people, 30% odds. That have been doing this type of work for the last five years, seven years, ten years. In fact, I was... Riding my bike this morning in my neighborhood, and I passed by some industrial area, and I saw two huge trucks that said debris removal on it. In fact, I'm going to reach out to the owner to see if he wants to put those trucks on the road and let me sublease those trucks from him and get those trucks making money. Watch, watch what I tell you. Ten years. So, again, they have seen the ups and downs. They have been part of – they been they were in the recession. They were uh, part of multiple hurricanes. So they know that this stuff exists. So what, what, what's the, the missing ingredient, okay? I believe that they don't know how to do it 
or the people that they have working for them are not pursuing or seeking out these opportunities. Uh, let me just go through and we're going to first figure out how many people are on the list and then we'll talk some more. Okay, let's go through. Here's the contract. It's 90 million. It's disaster relief services. There's the dates. Da, 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 da. Those dates. So. By the way, just so you know, we actually just recently recorded a webinar. It's on our website, GulfConGiants.com. Um, it's going to be a pop-up, and you'll see a webinar with myself, Maria, and John. And he's actually explaining, um, the guy who does the 90000 a month in, in actual COVID cleaning now, started off with no experience, no contracts. He actually goes through and tells you the story at the end of that webinar. So if you have a chance, click over, over to our website and see that webinar with John and I and Maria discussing how he's winning these $90,000 a month in contracts. That's interesting. I don't know if BCC date is a DPM date, but I guess that's when they were anticipating it. But it says here, up here, the contract period. So that's what we're focusing on, the contract period. Now, let's go back and look. Vendors awarded. Number one, Crowder Gulf Joint Venture out of Alabama. Number two, I don't know how to say that, CRES Environmental Services, Sarasota, Florida, Austin, Tupler Trucking, Miami, Florida, Tip Top Enterprises, Miami, a Native Tree Service, Miami, Five. all Florida land cleaning, Opelika, Bulk Express Transport Inc., Miami. Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 90 million. That's it. Seven people. $90 million. Everyone out there, it's so easy to complain and to cry and to look at what Trump's doing, and Trump gave his friend a contract, and he gave this guy a contract with a text message. Okay, so it's interesting. I made that video uh, in 2020 where Trump was in office and people were complaining about Trump. Now Biden's in office and people are complaining about Biden. When I am talking to my friends who are in the business and they're winning at the state level, they're winning at the local level, I mean the local municipalities, they're winning at the federal level, and we're not only are they winning contracts, they're saying, Eric, you are so right. No one is showing up to these bids. I am oftentimes the only person bidding these projects. This happened last week. This happened the week before. I got two calls this week for sole source contracts. I receive sole source requests every single week. If you are not in the loop, if you are not on the field, how do you expect to play? You've got to get off the sidelines and get on the field. You cannot play in the game watching on the sidelines, watching it on TV. You have to get in the field. I want everyone out there to make a commitment over the next 60 days. And in fact, I'll give you 90 days, over the next 90 days to get off of the sidelines and get on the field. Forget about you don't have all the pads, you don't have all the plays, you don't know... Forget about the drills. Listen, you've had enough practice. Go to your local municipality. They have small business reps at the local level too, just like they have at the federal level. They have small business reps at the level at the local level. Eric, why are you telling me to go local now? I'm saying to you to do something. Okay. I realize that everyone doesn't have the same confidence level that I have to go after bigger opportunities, but I want everyone to have an opportunity. I want everyone to be able to say that. They have successfully uh, navigated through government contracting space, and they were able to do a contract. Build relationships. We remember, before you just jump out there, okay, the biggest thing I want to say is establish a relationship with a vendor, a supplier, just like Wex Wesley, the 16-year-old military contractor. You want to find a supplier or vendor that's going to give you credit terms so you don't have to worry about paying the money up front, right? So that eliminates you having to have credit. That eliminates you having to have um, you know, spend your money, and that also ensures the quality is going to be there. So go out there, get build a relationship with a supplier or a vendor that will give you credit. Um, you do not always have to have good credit to get business credit. We'll go back and watch my videos on getting supplier credit and vendor credit with no personal credit or bad personal credit, okay? So that's the first thing, right? Now, once you have that relationship established, you can go out and find, get on the list of the pool contractors. You just qualify for them. It doesn't require certification. No certification needed contracts. That's what I'm going to call this video. No certification needed contracts. 
because it just requires you to pre-qualify your business that whatever that whatever they're asking for, whatever if they're asking for a license, if they're saying if you want to if you want to sell fuel or gasoline, you have to have this license. And look at this list. Look on this list. What do we see? Uh, groceries, concessions, protective coating services, um, fasteners. Who can't? You know what a fastener is? Screws. Okay. Modular buildings, air quality monitoring shelters, replacement parts, appliances, and kitchen parts, playground installation equipment, um, carpet materials, and, I, and I, that's another one I always show people. Um, there, there's so many. You likely have a friend or a friend of a family or a family friend that has that this is their business and this is what they do. Go talk to them, get them on the list, help them do the paperwork, show up to the sites. Okay, the good thing about the state and local level contracts is their mandatory site visit. When you have a mandatory site visit and you show up and it's only two people, you're likely to guess what? There's 50 50 chance. Okay, you can bid higher, you can be a little bit more aggressive. Okay, if you show up to a site visit and there's 22 people, all right, you're, you're in the wrong place. A lot of us are doing things that we believe this is where the opportunities are at because we hear construction, we hear IT. Remember, um, we've had people that are winning in actual, not, and we hear also, we hear landscaping and we hear janitorial. All right, forget that. Oh, there's other things out there that is markets, and if you do your homework and you let the market research guide your activities, that's my favorite saying, let the market research guide your activities. In fact, I'm going to get that put on a shirt. If you let the market research guide your activities, now you're actually being strategic about how to build and grow your business. You're not haphazardly operating cluelessly, aimlessly off of uh, thoughts, prayers, hopes, dreams, right? That maybe someone else put in your brains. Go out there and find out in your local areas where is the need, solve the need. Find a supplier, find a manufacturer, find a vendor who has that product, who maybe is not servicing that area, Okay, talk to them and allow them to give you credit. And again, if they don't want to give you credit, tell them that the reason, it's not that you don't have the money to pay, it's that you want to make sure the first couple times that the product is what it meets the specifications by the government. And you are concerned that if you were to give them X dollars up front and the product does not meet the specifications, it's going to be your A double S. So just ensure to them that, hey, you want to make sure that the product meets the quality, the specs, everything, all the requirements. And that's why you're asking for credit, just to protect both parties and ensure that you deliver a great product or service to the government. That's why we need credit. There's more than one way to skin a cat out there. But, but this video, it's a shame that it only has 800 views. And it literally, um, this video and the activities from this video is generated, my friend, 90000 a month in business three years after starting. Okay. It did take him three years because he had to build up his confidence. But three years down the road, how would you like to say that you're doing 90000 a month? And many of the times, okay, by the way, he's running the business. He's not actually in the business. So he's not actually out there doing the work, performing the services. He's running the business. That's a difference. He's got crews. He's got teams. Um, if you hear his story on our website, govconjunctions.com, on the webinar that we're posting, um, you'll hear what he says, and you'll hear where his background was from. He doesn't have formal education. He has a GED. He, he doesn't have a clean record. But guess what? He's not the one performing the services. The guys are. So the people that are working for him have the clean records. So, again, I want people to stop making excuses. I want people to start taking action. I want people to get in the game. I want people to call me and text me and email me and say, Eric, this worked. This was great. I'm so helpful. Listen, try it first, and then call me later. Don't call me first. Don't text me first. Try it. Go to your local city. Go to your local municipality. They're flush with cash. So much cash that they had to extend the last uh, stimulus package to give them more time to spend all the money the government was giving them. I normally don't say you stay in local, but because they're so flush with trillions and trillions of dollars from Congress and the federal government just, just printing money and giving it to them in droves, they might as well be flying over here and, and you know, be whatever, top jet, fighter jets and dropping it off in the air, they're so flush with cash that they can't spend it that they are making people millionaires in one or two years. Remember, some of the greatest stories of wealth creation has been during recessions and depression. And we're not even in a recession. 
we just had a small setback because of a, a national pandemic or global pandemic. However, this has caused some unsettling times for a lot of folks, which is allowed, which has forced the government to pump, dump, pump and dump money into the economy, creating newly minted millionaires. Are you going to be one? Or are you going to be the one telling your grandkids about the story of the time where you had the chance to jump in and you did nothing? What is it going to be? This is my notes, and this is my thoughts for this Sunday. Hey, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know after you try it. What happened? How did it work out for you? Where did you run into stumbling blocks if you had a problem? And again, if your local city municipality doesn't have it, go to the city next door. Don't give up. Don't, do not let somebody else put a limit on your dreams. Don't let someone put a ceiling on your and bottle you up. I don't want to be bottled up like a genie in a bottle. Don't bottle me up. I'm like, look, look, said, I'm like that Coca-Cola. You shake it up, I'm, psh, I'm, a, I'm exploding everywhere. So, again, don't let somebody bottle you up. If you go to your city and say, hey, if they don't do that, go to a bigger city. If you're in a small town, go to the next town up. Okay, if, you're in a, uh, if your town doesn't have opportunities, go to the one over that one. Listen, we're doing this in the some of the largest metropolitan areas around the country. You can do this in Palm Beach. You can do it in Tampa. You can do it in Sarasota. You can do it in Cleveland. You can do it in Columbus. You can do it in Chicago. You can do this. Listen, you can do it in Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, California. It doesn't matter. San Fran. Listen, the, look for pool contracts at the city and state levels. Find out how to become a supplier vendor. Uh, find the ones that don't have a lot of competition. Go to the manufacturer who manufacture products in that specific space and then get credit with them, and then come back around and start bidding and winning contracts. And then when you finish, just be like, thank you, Eric. Good job. All right, listen, hey, thanks guys so much. Um, I've talked enough for this video. Thanks. Peace out. Be good. Happy Sunday.